Hey guys, this is Vinay and welcome back to the 10th video of the C++ programming in Linux video series. And in the last video we have discussed about the arithmetic operators and in this video we are going to discuss the last arithmetic operator and that is the modular operator. What a modular operator gives is the remainder of the division. What? The remainder. Remainder of division. Whenever we divide some number say a by b it gives uh, a some number a some result and that result is known as the question the general mathematics from our childhood from our primary days and a by b gives the question and if we are willing to get the get sorry there's something and if we are willing to get the output as a, what the remainder we need a percentage B that is now let's have a dominant demonstration for this and uh, define some variables say integer a equals to 9 integer B equals to 2 2 and uh, C out and uh, C out is a percentage B and uh, and L as always bam now we just need to compile it come to the workspace C++ we need to save it also okay. now G++ cc no reason yes good now we just need to come to rest it's giving 1 because whenever we divide 9 by 2 we receive the question as uh, question to as uh, to for the 8 or something so 4.5 and uh, whenever we uh, and the remainder would be 1 because uh, 2 9 is indivisible completely is not completely divisible divis divided because 2 for the 8 and 2 5 the 10 you can see that so uh, if we are going to consider the arithmetic operators we can do almost all the tasks of the simple mathematics using these operators now we are done with plus minus multiply division and of course the modic operator and division and modulo works together to provide the question and the remainder of the division now while programming we usually come uh, up with the scenarios when we are required to uh, alter the values stored inside the variable say i'm having some variable integer a as a and I need to increment that value by 1 so in that case I just write a plus 1 like that operator like the system and whenever I type as C out a and uh, NL I would get uh, I would get the incremented value of the a that is the in value incremented by a just save it compile it and watch out the result uh oh yep yeah it's 9 now it was 8 I have incremented a 8 plus 1 8 plus 1 become 9 and 9 get a store to the a and we get the result as a and that is 9 so it get incremented and in a similar fashion I can decrement it save it run it 9 oh my god oh, we need to compile it sorry compile it run it it's 7 it decremented value decremented it was 8 now it's 7 we can use the similar operator for uh, multiply by 2 say okay the value of the 8 would get multiplied by 2 the result would be 16 and get in get allotted to this particular value save compile it and run it the output was 16 uh, the value 8 get multiplied by 2 and we get the output as 16 so in this way in the programming scenario we usually need to alter the values stored inside the variable and for this we do these these things and uh, the C++ has provided us with some compound operators what I'm what I mean what I was to say are the compound operators and these compound operators just simplify the way we write these instructions a is equals to a into 2 if we are required why are we writing this a again and again 
So instead of writing this, we can just write a multiply equals to swap the position and remove a. Swap the position and remove a. Put the multiply in the left and put the equals to in the right and smooth it. And just what we want to multiply, we want to multiply by two. So this and this would work the same. Just command this particular instruction, save it and run it and watch the magic. Compiled. Oh, it's having some expectation because of some error in it. What would be the error? Oh my god, <laughs> this compound operator is just nothing. Just save it out and now compile it. It's compiled successfully, executed, it's 16. The same effect. When we do the a is equals to a multiplied by 2 or we are doing a multiply by multiply equals to 2 both are giving the same result. In a similar fashion if we need to divide something by this in this way we can use just replace this multiply by this uh, division sign. If we need to increment this particular value by 2 we can just replace this by, by 2 plus and in a similar fashion if it's negative uh, su subtraction just replace this plus with subtraction even you can use this with the modular operator also that would work the same now come up one more thing that while doing the programming we usually need to increment just by one and decrement just by one and keeping this particular requirement into the picture C++ has de decided to simplify this instruction, simplify it more. And for this, simplify a plus equal to 2 won't work. But if we are writing this a plus equals to 1, or we are in a requirement of writing that a is equal to a plus 1, the C++ has provided us with one very similar thing, very small thing, and that is the plus plus operator, plus plus. We just need to write a plus plus and semicolon and that's done. Say so it's a is 8 and we are doing a is equal to a plus 1. It has given us, it had given the output as 9 at that time. But we are doing just a plus plus this time. We have simplified it again. We have more simplified this and we are going to get the same result. Don't believe me, just compile it and get the result. It's 9. In a similar way, we can uh, simplify a is equal to a minus 1 just by remove, replacing plus plus with the minus minus and that dec decrement that value by 1. Save it, watch the result. Compiling done successfully, execution done. That was 8 and we have decremented it using this particular minus minus operator. We can even use the plus plus and minus minus in either directions. We can use, we had used it as a suffix. This time I'm going to uh, demonstrate as a prefix. Save it, compile it, go on. It's giving 7. Now, there, these are the compound operators but we cannot use these minus minus like a or multiply multiply and call it that won't work uh, and a slash slash that won't that won't also that also won't work so uh, for incrementing the value by one and decrementing the value by one we are having the plus plus and the minus minus operator and for incrementing and decrementing uh, by more than some other value uh, say 2 3 or something else we just need to a plus equals to uh, say x value and sorry it's plus equals to x value and if we are required to decrement it with some x value which is not equal to 1 we just need to write a minus equals to and in this way we use the compound operators now we can see that in this tutorial we are done with the modular operator the left arithmetic operator we were left with now plus plus the minus minus operator that we have discussed in the last and these are the very important operators and I'm going to discuss these operators in detail in the future we have also discussed the plus equals to the minus equals to and the multiply equals to and the division equals to and the percentage equals to operator and these operators including this plus plus and minus minus operators are known as the compound operators we can we known as the compound operators. Now this is enough for this particular tutorial and we'll discuss the plus plus and the minus minus operators in detail in the further videos and uh, that's enough for this time. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.